we are getting ready to work it all over. We are gonna work it from top to bottom because we have a 15 minute full body dumbbell workout and we have a total of three rounds today. One round that's going to target the lower body, one round that's gonna target the upper body and then one round that's gonna target the abs and obliques. Now this workout today also includes a lot of compound exercises, which simply means we're gonna be doing a lot of exercises that are gonna work more than one muscle group as we work. So with that said, we're gonna get into our very first exercise, which is a squat to a lunge or you can take the modification on screen as well. You will see some modifications for some of the exercises, so always take those if you need to. But let's grab our dumbbells and let's do this. All right, so bringing those dumbbells up for our lunge, we're gonna alternate sides and we're gonna step as a rear lunge. So let's begin, here we go. And you can, if you're taking that modification, you're doing that lift, really think about squeezing your legs as you do that lift, good. But if you're lunging with me, nice and controlled, chest is up, core is engaged. Good. So in each round, we're gonna work two times through the first exercise, one time through the second exercise, and then two times through that third exercise. Good, keep it nice and low, feeling the legs, feeling the quads and the bum. Whew. Almost there. Finish out squat, good. Whew. Shake it out. Now challenge yourself, this is 15 minutes. So work with a heavy dumbbell for you for each exercise. It's really gonna help you maximize our 15 minutes together. Whew. Rest is short. We've gotta go again in three, two, here we go. Squat to lunge or squat to that leg lift. Good, keep that chest up. Now the modification is if your knees are not too excited about lunges. So that's the, why I'm offering the modification for this exercise. You'll see a modification again when we hit abs for some of the ab exercises. Almost there. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Last lunge. Nice. Next exercise, this is where we hit that one time through. This is a sumo pulse. So you can use one dumbbell right in the middle or two off to the side. But let's get into position. Sumo squat, we're gonna pulse it. So keep it low, keep that chest up. Breathing, so not coming all the way up to full extension. Keeping that contraction in the muscles. Pulsing and breathing, burning as well. Hello, I am feeling it. Excited we're only doing this once though, that's the good news. Always gotta look on the bright side, right? That's the bright side for me right now. Whew. Good, keep your chest up. This 15 minute workout, is going to be awesome if you wanna include this after one of our cycling workouts, if you cycle with me on the bike to really hit all the muscle groups after that, or if you're short on time, perfect workout to throw this in on one of your busy days. Last one, nice, okay. Now we bring it onto the mat. Two rounds through for glute bridge. So bring it onto the mat, get your dumbbells, and let's get ready to go. Here we go. Squeeze, hold at the top for a second. Weight is in the heels and press, good. So knees in line with your big toe. You don't want your knees falling out or caving in towards the center. That's gonna put pressure on your knees and we do not want that. But this is an awesome lower body, low impact exercise right here to really strengthen the hands and the glutes and also the core. So again, compound exercises, really working those today. Hold it at the top for a second, but very little time at that bottom move. So right here, we're just tapping, bringing it right back up and squeezing. Last one, and down, good. Rest it out, 15 seconds. 
I'm telling you what, I don't think 15 seconds ever flies by as fast as this rest period. <laughs> Cause we've got to go in five seconds. We're doing that once more and then we're going to move on to the upper body. So let's finish strong. Here we go. Lift and lower. Exhale as you come up to the top with this lift, pressing your shoulder blades into the mat and your heels when you're all the way up there. Good. Really drive those hips up, squeezing 15 minutes. So we're gonna maximize it. So I really want you to focus on your form, working full range of motion, going heavy enough, keeping your mind on the muscles we're working. Good. Almost, breathe it out. Come on, you've got it. You're gonna get a quick 15 seconds. We're gonna bring it back up for the upper body. Last one. Nice, set your weights off to the side. Going into our next exercise, which is gonna work the biceps and shoulders. We're gonna do a curl and press. So grab your dumbbells, get ready to go. We've gotta go in three, two, and one. Here we go, curl to press. Exhale with the lift all the way down to all the way up. Slow and controlled here. You don't have to rush through, especially if you're going heavy enough, you're not going to be able to rush. So that's gonna be a good thing. We wanna take our time, work through each rep. Keep that core engaged, slight bend in the knee. I love this exercise. This is such a good one for the upper body. Time for one more. Last one, curl, press it up. Nice job, 15 seconds, once more through. So same structure, first exercise two times through, second exercise one time through, third exercise two times through. Ooh, we gotta go again. Curl and press, here we go. Don't swing the weight to get it up either. You're controlling that weight. You're controlling it up and down. And with the curl, make sure your arms are staying nice and tucked to your body to focus on the bicep. Then we press up and hit those shoulder muscles. Couple reps left, you've got it, keep it strong. We're gonna bring it to the mat next with no dumbbells. We're gonna do a tricep push up next. In just about five seconds, you're gonna rest. And one, nice job. So no dumbbells, we can set those off to the side. Bring it down for your tricep push up. To maximize this, keep those arms in close as you lift and lower. So bring it down, knees or toes but we've got to begin. Here we go. Push that floor away. Also good, this is only one time through. <laughs> Breathing, arms are shaking. Drive those elbows to the wall behind you, pushing through the heels of your hand keeping your glutes, keeping your core engaged. And as you press that floor away, that's when you exhale. Almost there. Keep it strong, you've got it. Last one. Oh, my arms are shaking and we still have one more exercise for upper body. That is going to be a dumbbell row. So we're gonna bring it back up to standing, really targeting the back. So grab your dumbbells for that. Two times through for this exercise. Let's begin. Back flat and squeeze. Control it up, control it down. Extend all the way, let those arms come straight down and then squeeze shoulder blades around spine. So hold it just for a second at the top. It's 
Take your time. Good. No need to rush. We're gonna be here no matter what till the timer beeps. Good. This is our last one. Squeeze it up strong and down. Rest it out. Shake it out. Breathing. Bet you didn't know what 15 minutes could be like with a full body dumbbell workout. We're getting it. One more time for back. Grab your dumbbells. Let's get ready to go. Finish strong for this exercise. Good, really let those arms hang down, stretch those back muscles, and then contract them. Good, with that squeeze. Ooh, halfway. All about abs next for our final round. So we won't need any dumbbells. Actually, no, we will need dumbbells for that for our last exercise in abs. It'll just be one. Almost, come on, we're less than 10. Keep good form all the way to the end. Last one. Nice, all right, set your dumbbells down. Meet me on the mat for our first ab exercise, which is going to be a crunch with alternating twist. So we're bringing, gonna bring it back. This is where you've got that modification of just the crunch. So here we go, crunch and then twist. Exhale with the twist. Good. Just a slight grip behind your head. You don't wanna crunch your neck up. Fingertips are just lightly placed at the back of your head. Just there to help support your neck muscles. Last one and down, stretch it out. Just about 10 seconds we go again. We're working that exercise once more through. So getting ready to go in five seconds. Here's three, two, here we go. Back up and twist. So once you're up, get that twist in. Oh, good, squeeze. As you come back down, let those abs lengthen out then contract, twist, and back down. Good. Almost there. Last one. Lift, twist, control it down. Whew, all right, amazing job, amazing job. This is where we have that one exercise we're gonna hold it. So you can modify with the C-sit hold, as you'll see on screen, or you're gonna hold it up in the hollow hold. So let's get ready. Breathing. This is gonna be a challenge for me, no joke. This is a super tough exercise for me to hold this. Just want you to know that. So if I'm like, ha la 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 la, that's because I'm burning and shaking. And all the goodies, okay, all the goodies. I want trick or treat and I got the Reese's cup in my bag today with this one. Oh, good, hold it. Keep yourself strong and straight. Breathing, good, three, two, oh. And collapse on the floor. Nice job. Okay, one more exercise, two times through, dumbbell pull through in plank position. So grab your dumbbell. When you do that plank, you're gonna wanna pass the dumbbell behind your hands to avoid your fingers. So get into plank position and let's begin. 
So you're just gonna pass it from side to side. As you do that pass, don't let your shoulders roll open. So you wanna keep your shoulders square, hips square to the mat. Good, pass it through. This is such an ab burner. The abs are on fire. Nice job, almost there. Last one. Good, you can drop it down. Oh, breathing. Once more through. Oh, we gotta go in five seconds. Last 50 seconds of work. Finish strong. You can do this. Here we go. Nice job keeping good form. So make sure shoulders, elbows, wrists are all in line. As you set that weight back down, make sure you're not crawling yourself up or crawling yourself out too far. Keeping a nice, strong, straight line. Breathing, oh, almost. Last one, oh, yes, you've made it. 15 minutes and you rocked it. That was no joke. It's time for a stretch. Stretch is right there. I will see you over at that stretch. Thank you for joining me and I love you.